I'm Rachel Freeman and I'm the Chief Executive at Microprocesses. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here this evening to the Microprocesses Light of the Life 2021. And we're delighted to be in this beautiful building. Just before we start, I'd like to say a few thank yous, if I may. And firstly to the Cathedral for hosting the event, to Royal Sparbras for the lovely music, to the Mighty Hospice Singers and St John Fisher School Choir for the singing we're going to hear, Tesco for providing the mince pies for tonight's service, F. Wheatman and Son for providing the trees to our hospices, and of course, a big thank you to our staff and volunteers who have made tonight possible. But the biggest thank you of all goes to all of you for joining us this evening and for supporting Might and continuing to do so. Many of you here will have first-hand experience of the care that Might provides, and you'll know how important it is to our patients and their families. But that care is only possible because of the support of people like you. So from everyone at Mighton to all of you, a very big thank you. It's been a difficult year for us all, well two years actually, and I don't think we're out of the woods yet, I don't think any of us are thinking that. But it's wonderful that so many of you have been able to join us tonight as Christmas approaches to celebrate the lives of those we love and remember the times we shared with them. I think at Christmas, we always remember the people we love, but those memories tend to be more poignant at this time of year. We have a very special service for you tonight, with some beautiful words from our readers, lots of singing from our choirs, and hopefully from all of you. And I'm going to start things off by reading a poem by David Harkins, called She Is Gone. You can shed tears that she is gone, or you can smile because she has lived. You can close your eyes and pray that she will come back, or you can open your eyes and see all that you have left. Your heart can be empty because you can't see her, or you can be full of the love that you shared. You can turn your back on tomorrow and hit yesterday, or you can be happy tomorrow because of yesterday. You can remember her and only that she is gone, or you can cherish her memory and let it live on. You can cry and close your mind, be empty and turn your back, or you can do what she would want. Smile, open your eyes, love and go on. And now for the first carol of the evening, Silent Night, O Holy Night, from the Mighty Fingers. Thank you. 
after that moment of looking back. Our first reading is a reading that encourages us to look forward, to look forward with hope. And Sarah Faulkner, one of the Mighton trustees, is going to read to us from Alfred Lord Tennyson's poem In Memoriam, Ring Out Wild Bells. Ring out wild bells to the wild sky, the flying cloud, the frosty light. The year is dying in the night. Ring out wild bells and let him die. Ring out the old, ring in the new, ring happy bells across the snow. The year is going, let him go. Ring out the false, ring in the true. Ring out the grief that saps the mind for those that here we see no more. Ring out the feud of rich and poor, ring in redress to all mankind. Ring out a slyly, slowly dying cause and ancient forms of party strife. Ring in the nobler modes of life with sweeter manners, purer the Ring out the want, the care, the sin, the faithless coldness of the times. Ring out, ring out my mournful rhymes, but ring the fuller faithful in. Ring out false pride in place of blood, the civic slander and the spite. Ring in the love of truth and right. Ring in the common love of good. Ring out on shapes of foul disease. Ring out the narrowing lust of gold. May that ring out the thousand wars of old. Ring in the thousand years of peace. Ring in the valiant man and free, the larger heart, the kindlier hand. Ring out the darkness of the land. Ring in the Christ that is to be. Our poems, we've heard about the larger half of the country we're going to see about the king who was renowned for his generosity. Together we sing Good King Wenceslas and give so many thanks for this and for all our music tonight to the Royal Sparbra.
time brings memory of times when you were there. Precious times and happy times, the love that you would share. We open the gift that was your life, mixed with joy and tears. We share with fondness all the love you shared throughout the years. We bring out your cherished portraits, your carol we seek out. We set the table with the food you loved, and then with a fond shout, we wish you Merry Christmas. We wish you were with us. And although you're not in person, you're embedded in our hearts. So Merry Christmas, treasure one. Throughout the coming year, the love you shared will remind us that you are always with you. Now we're going to hear from some very special guests, the St. John Fisher School of Work, who are going to sing the public carol. I grew up in public, so that makes me especially happy. <laughs> Footsteps, 
only half a step behind. So please don't be unhappy just because I'm out of sight. Remember that I'm with you each morning, noon and night. One of the things about all the service is they always have a surprise. And my surprise this evening was to see that the blessing that I would think of as happening at the end was happening now. So I'm going to make you wait, because for me a blessing is a hug from God to take away with you later. So let's pray now. God of all time, we say that time is a healer, and yet healing doesn't happen without our permission. If we come tonight with bitterness, persuade us with your sweetness. If we come tonight still with anger or bewilderment, pacify us with your patience. If we come with pain and grief, soothe us with your tenderness. If we come still numb with shock, calm us with your hand placed on our shoulders. If we come in despair, give us hope. For you, God, are the God of all life, and of what comes beyond the life that we know. We come in our brokenness, we come with our gratitude, we come with loose ends that we've been unable to tie up. We may not know why it is that we have come, but we come tonight in hope. For we know that in you is the light that shines in the darkness and that all the grief and darkness of the world will never put that light of love out. And so we trust one another and those we love to that light and that life and that love. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now we get to hear again from the St. John Fisher Choir. They're going to sing What Kind of Throne.
it's our turn again and we're going to sing a little town of Bethlehem. If you're feeling brave, you could try standing up because I'm sure you would sing better. You've all got masks and we're told that we're still allowed to sing. So let's do that just in case the rules change over the next 10 days. us for ourselves, 
looking with acceptance on all that we are, and cherishing us without condition or constraint. Holy God, bless our remembrance. We celebrate those who have stood alongside us, holding us in the depths of elation or despair, where words of joy or rescue fall silent. Holy God, bless our memory. We celebrate those who would not let us stand still, edging us gently into the open space of new understanding and delighted exploration. Holy God, bless our memory. We celebrate those who have challenged us to grow, seeing all that we have it in us to become, and daring us to dream beyond our imagining. Holy God, bless our memory. We celebrate all who have travelled before us, showing us in their persistent courage and tenderness how to live in love and die in faith and hope. For those who lit our lives with joy, for those who have touched us with tenderness, for those whose loss fills us with longing, we give thanks in glad remembrance. Holy God, bless our remembering. Amen. Now, Carl, dear, you know, you know, we're going to sing, we're really going to listen to some singing. The mighty singers are going to sing Mistletoe and Wine.
Thank you so much. That was just lovely. Carl Damien, Chair of Trustees for My Ethos Business, is now going to read to us from one of my favourite authors, Maya Angelou, When Great Trees Fall. When great trees fall, rocks on distant hills shudder, lions hunker down in tall grasses, and even elephants lumber after safety. When great trees fall in forests, small things recoil into silence, their senses eroded beyond fear. When great souls die, the air around us becomes light, rare, sterile. We breathe briefly, our eyes briefly see with a hurtful clarity. Our memory, suddenly sharpened, examines, gnaws on kind words unsaid, promised walks never taken. Great souls die, and our reality bound to them takes leaves of us. Our souls dependent upon their nurture, now shrink, wizened, our minds formed and informed by their radiance, fall away. We are not so much maddened as reduced to the unutterable ignorance of dark, cold caves. And when great souls die, after a period, peace blooms, slowly and always irregularly. Space is filled with a kind of soothing, electric vibration. Our senses restored, never to be the same. Whisper to us, they existed, they existed. We can be. Be and be better, for they existed. It's time for St John Fisher Choir to sing for us again. They're going to give us the Calypso Carol.
when we were planning this service, I kept shying away from saying to Laura, you know, you're taking a really big risk putting a vicar in charge of a microphone, because of course the risk is that we'll start talking. And I'm going to read you a very short little Bible passage that reflects on tonight's theme of light in darkness, and then just say a few words about it. So this is from the Gospel of St. John, from the very beginning of his Gospel. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him is life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. I really love candles, don't you? I think they add a, a special beauty of their very own, even better than fairy lights, although I'm pretty keen on those too. Candlelight isn't always that convenient, of course. If you've lost a contact lens, and I've done this in a dark church, then you really hope that someone will turn the lights on quickly. And when we leave to make our way home tonight, we'll be glad that there are street lights to guide our way. We live in an age don't we, where light can just happen, at the flick of a switch, just like that. And so perhaps we don't really grasp how frightening and oppressive darkness can be, how alarming the longer nights of winter might seem to our ancestors. Perhaps the sun was gone for good. We still don't much enjoy the dark. Who knows what dangers might lurk in dark, lurk in dark corners, how easily we might get lost or go hopelessly astray as we seek a way home. And so the darkness has been since the very earliest days an image of all that's sad and broken in our world. You who are part of the Mighton family know at first hand how the darkness can, can seem very close, of course. And across the world this COVID tide, there'll be many for whom the comfort and joy that we sing about feels altogether too much, more than we can manage. We've all had to look at our own frailty and mortality, have more beloved people and the old confidence that allowed us to make plans. And as the nights draw in, Sometimes it can feel hard to be hopeful. But whatever happens in the next fortnight, when we move to Plan C, Plan, plan J, Plan Q, or beyond, Christmas will not be cancelled. Whether our plans are upended by the spray of the virus, whether it all just feels too hard to even contemplate in the face of grief and loss. Nonetheless, across the world, and here in this cathedral, people will find a way to celebrate that gift of hope that Christmas offers. Hope centred, of all things, on a migrant baby, born in poverty, a refugee whose life was followed, birth was followed by violence and bloodshed. Jesus brought the love of God into our world in a human life. From the beginning, he drew others. And as they came close to him, they were touched by his love, which shone through everything that Jesus said and did and was. And as he grew up and told, told wonderful stories that showed people the way to live, others began to learn to share that love. They told their friends, who told their friends, who told their friends, and so down through the ages the light of love has passed in a relay that reaches right to us here in Coventry Cathedral tonight. Of course, loving like that is costly. We all know that love can wound us in ways that we would never have expected. Remember, a candle destroys itself as it burns, making a gift of itself to shed light for others. Loving like that costs Jesus everything. And on the first Good Friday, it looked as if the darkness of the world had won forever. Jesus died, and with him died the hopes and fears of all the years. But just three days later came Easter. New life, new hope as the light burst forth again. And now today we have the choice and the chance to share it with others. We can share it with our words. 
as you remind others that Christmas begins with Christ, God's gift for the world forever. We can show it by our actions as we give love and care, time and energy to those who need to know that there is still love in the world. As we go from this cathedral tonight, whatever we're going home to, let us each one carry the light of God's love with us and show to a troubled world the truth that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has never put it out. I'd like to invite you now to stand and to turn round to face our Christmas tree. God of our every moment, we come to you this Christmas time knowing that much in your world remains dark and sad, yet we are warmed afresh by the light and fire of your love. As we celebrate the birth of your Son, help us to feel once again the joy that he brings and to share it with those whom we meet, so that earth may echo the music of heaven and all creation sing your praise as we rejoice that the light shines in the darkness and that the darkness will never put it out. Amen. Amen. Can I invite you now to turn back to face this way as I give you that blessing which I promised you earlier for the few you to give you earlier in service. A blessing is in this eye the hand of God, a reminder of no matter what you're going home to tonight, however everything in the house may see, God's love, God's light, and God's grace goes with you. So may the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the obedience of Mary and Joseph, the perseverance of the wise men, and the peace of the Christ child be yours, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you to fill your lives with light and hope, this Christmas time and always. Amen. That brings us to the end of our service, though not necessarily our time together. I want to thank you all for coming, for coming with courage and hope. I want to thank Mighton for all they are, for our communities, for our city and our area. And just to wish each one of you, no matter what Christmas may bring, the joy and love of God's presence. Thank you for being here tonight.